yeah, I confess, Father, I confess, cause I've been living wrong. Hello and welcome back to The Wandering Wind. I'm your host, Gregory, and today we're going to be talking about vlogging coming up. Okay, so you're a YouTuber, but for the most part, you've just been doing bits and pieces here and there. You don't really have a content strategy, and that's not helping you whatsoever. So what do you have? Well, if you're anything like me when I was starting out, I had a, I had a phone or a tablet in my case. And a dream. Well, then one of the first things you can do as a content creator here on YouTube is start a vlogging series. Now, I tell you what. Most, <coughs> most big-time YouTubers started out doing the bare um, essentials. The bare, the bare minimum that they could do because that's all they could afford. And vlogging series are a great way to start out. So here are five easy tips, five easy, five easy steps to get you started vlogging today. Number one, brainstorm ideas. What do you have in mind for your YouTube channel? Do you want to talk about gaming or do gaming? Well, if you want to do gaming later, talk about gaming now. Review, review video games, include... Um, your favorite video games or stuff like that. If you want to be a musician, maybe record yourself playing a song, singing to a recording, something. You know, brainstorm some ideas of what you can do with what you have in order to make everything work. Step number two. This is the one everyone gets wrong at first. Set up your recording space. Now, I don't mean make sure you have acoustic foam and everything else and make sure everything's perfect. I'm just talking about making the room or space in which you fall and in which you record your videos nice, okay? Now, it doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, outside of the frame of this video, I've got several things that would be considered clutter, okay? But... The area in which I'm filming, this frame here, that I'm using as a backdrop for my videos is clean, is minimal, has nothing to be distracting. Number three, start filming. Get it all out. Do, do 10, 20, 30, however many takes it, it takes. To get what you want out of your particular video. If you want to edit out, um, or if you want to edit in all the good bits, great. And you know what? That's step number four. Edit out the unnecessary bits of your videos. Edit out all the pauses, all the ums, all the crap that really gets distracting and keeps people from continuing to be engaged with your video. And then step number five, really quick, upload your vlog. Now, does it have to be perfect? No. Does it have to be completely 100% on the dot? No. Should it at least be acceptable and good? Yes. Should it be something that people want to watch? Yes. And you know what? If you're not creating something that others want to watch, then you're wasting your time and theirs. But also, if you're creating something that you don't enjoy, that also wastes their time. Because, contrary to what you may believe, your viewers, your viewers can tell when you aren't enjoying yourself in the video. Your viewers can tell when you're just, uh, well, it's another video, and Hey guys, it <laughs> they can tell when you're not happy with your video or when you're not happy doing what you're doing. And that brings down the, the mood of your video and really just makes it super difficult to get into it. Now, are there points where you should probably um, push through anyway? Yes. 
are there pro points where you should continue with the project that you've started? Well, obviously, if you're going to start something, finish it. But for God's sake, don't do something that you're not going to be happy with at the end of the day. Because if you're not happy with it, your viewers aren't happy with it. And at the end of the day, no one's happy with it. Because YouTube doesn't like it because your viewers aren't watching. You don't like it because <laughs> obvious reasons. And then they don't like it because it's not your usual content or it's not your usual you. Be you. But don't be afraid to try new things. Anyway, that's my top five tips for starting your vlog in five easy steps. Get to it.